2018 was another great year for Mercedes as they took both titles once again. But that has not stopped controversy from arising. The controversy is to do with the wheel rims on the Mercedes. Now is this cheating or is this a brilliant innovation? The only way to find out is in this video. Now guys as ever when it comes to the technical side of F1, I am going to try in the most simple way possible explain what is going on and what exactly this system is. So here it goes. After the summer break Mercedes brought some upgrades to their wheel rims, specifically the rear wheels. Now what they were trying to do was blow air through the wheel assembly to keep the temperatures of the wheel cooler than usual and to also help out their tyre temperatures. And again, to try and solve this issue, they were getting airflow through the wheel and then directing it outwards. Definitely an interesting concept from the Silver Arrows. But how exactly were they gaining from this? Well, to be honest, it's pretty simple. They were now able to manage those rear tyre temperatures better than before, and were also decreasing blistering on those rear tyres. And this was helping especially at races where we had hot temperatures. For example, a race like Singapore where they did bring this upgrade. And in general, every track just helps the tyre wear. And that of course is a massive plus. Now this has been an issue that Mercedes have been trying to solve for quite a few years. Ever since I think 2011, they've always struggled with their rear tyres. When it comes to overheating them and completely burning them out and it has cost them a lot of points since they came back into the sport as a constructor. It is something they desperately wanted to solve, and after bringing and utilising this upgrade, Mercedes were now back to their dominant selves again, as they won the Italian, Singapore, Russian and Japanese Grand Prix, and they did look almost quite unbeatable during this time period, as Lewis Hamilton and Mercedes took a massive step towards the titles. But then at the US Grand Prix their dominance was ended, after Mercedes made a slight alteration to this wheel rim design. The only reason they did this was because they thought Ferrari was going to protest this design, and so they played it safe and slightly altered it, and they also did it for Mexico. That was despite the FIA telling them that this design was absolutely fine, and abiding by the rules but didn't run it again because of the threat of a protest. But Ferrari did have a reason to question the legality of this system, as they thought Mercedes were doing something similar to what Red Bull did back in 2012. In 2012, Red Bull with their wheel rims were blowing air straight from the axle, and were clearly using it as an aerodynamic device. And so their design at the time was banned and Ferrari suspected that Mercedes were doing something similar, but the FIA deemed that Mercedes were not using it as an aerodynamic device, thus why they were cleared. Now when it comes to the rules regarding wheel rims, I believe that basically you're not supposed to turn them into aerodynamic devices, or at least that is my interpretation, and the FIA clearly felt that Mercedes were not doing so. But there is no doubt that Mercedes have definitely gained from using this system. Just look at these couple of stats. Now this is with the controversial wheel rim. During the races they used it they only lost one position from their grid position. That's of course during the Grand Prix. And gained three positions from their grid position. Now the reason I'm using this is pretty simple. If you do have bad tyre where you're going to lose positions in the race not gain any. And as you can see here with the wheel room design that is helping their tyre wear, they are gaining positions more than losing positions. But this guys is the last three races without this wheel room design, even though it's only slightly different. From their grid position they've lost 7 positions in the Grand Prix, and gained 0, clearly showing how Mercedes are struggling more on tyres for the last three Grand Prix, and that is with the altered design to keep Ferrari happy. So clearly before the US Grand Prix where they had to alter it, they were gaining a lot from this device. And without it they don't do so well. Now moving forward, what do Mercedes do? Well now the FIA has said that this device is legal, they need to bring it back and keep developing this area of the car. Because as I just showed you, it is helping their results a lot. 
and is solving their rear tire issue they've had for years. So if they can use it, they absolutely have to. But they do have to watch out for rival teams copying this design. Or maybe even improving on it. Because if that happens, they're going to have to go back to the drawing board. And figure out another innovative design. And when it comes to this device, I have to say it is brilliant innovation. And as the FIA have stated, it is not cheating. Even though it's very technical and can at times be quite boring, it's still very good innovation on the part of Mercedes. And it shows that some solutions can be found to solve some issues. A massive credit has to go to the design team at Mercedes and James Allison, as this did give them enough pace at the end of the season when it mattered. So great work as always from the guys from Brackley. But if they do manage to improve on the initial design of this wheel rim, and improve their rear tyre temperatures and their rear tyre wear, Mercedes might be a scary prospect in 2019. But anyway guys, that has been it for this video. Don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe for more content like this. Don't forget guys, I'll be back on Thursday with a preview for the final race in Abu Dhabi. As well, don't forget to join the Discord server, link below in the description, also with my Twitter and my website. Comment down below what you thought of this video and what did you think about this issue with the wheel rims at Mercedes. Please comment down below what you think about those topics and until next time it's been me Chazzer HD, goodbye.